Shalom, all praises going in honor to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well through the scriptures. Peace to the hopeful elect. This is Psalms chapter 58, verse 1. It says, To the chief musician, Al Tuskith, Miktam of David, do ye indeed speak righteousness, O congregation? Do ye judge uprightly, O ye sons of men? The answer is no. Uh, verse 2, yet in heart ye work wickedness, ye weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. The wicked are estranged from the womb, they go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies. So, they born evil. The wicked, which is the so-called white man, the sons of men are all the other nations. The sons of God are the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American, and the sons of the wicked. The wicked, the children of the wicked, okay, are the uh, the so-called white people. This is Job chapter 9, verse 24. It says, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. All right, so the wicked is running the earth, according to the Bible. All right, but look at the earth. It says, he covereth the faces of the judges thereof. That's what the wicked do. If not, where and who is he? So who covered the face of the Most High? Who made the, the Most High so-called white man? Have you ever seen a Chinese uh, Jesus, so to speak? Huh? No. But the, uh, the so-called white man has, has changed the, the judges, uh, starting with the Most High, the Son, the Heavenly Host, the angels, and even going back down into the Israelites, because we're judges under Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. We're judges under him. So uh, King, uh, they made all the, uh, they made the Israelites so-called white. When you watch the Ten Commandments, they got Moses white and Miriam uh, uh, and Aaron white. When the scriptures told, uh, the Lord told Moses to put his hand in his, in his bosom and take it out and it became white. That was a miracle. Why they don't show that in the movies? All right. So that's who the wicked are. It says, uh, but let's look up the word, uh, estranged all right it says the wicked are estranged from the womb okay so estranged zawar i'm just gonna go to the point it says uh in the strongs it says a primitive root to turn aside especially for lodging hence to be a foreigner strange profane specifically active participle, participle to commit adultery come from another man place family go away stranger thing woman so the point is profane so the wicked are profane from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies. Let's look up the word profane. All right. This is the etymology uh, from old French profaneer and directly from Latin profaneer to desecrate, render unholy, violate, unholy, not consecrated. All right. So the so-called white man is, is unholy because, first of all, the Bible is holy. And the children of Israel is holy, and you 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 violate everything the Bible says, okay? And you violate the children of Israel too, where you you do these uh these underhanded underhanded things to to, to try to keep us separated from our power. All right, this is uh Jeremiah chapter fifty verse seven. It says uh. Salakia. <coughs> It says, uh, all that found them have devoured them, and their adversary said, we offend not, because they have sinned against Yahweh, the habitation of justice, even Yahweh, the hope of their fathers. So you people devour us, starting with you so-called, the so-called white man, but all the heathen nations under him, and they say, they say that they are, they are, it's okay for them to do it because we sin against the Lord. So eating pork, getting linings, being homosexuals, all right, all these are underhanded things that they try to uh, the so-called white man try to manipulate our people into doing. All right, they they by they poison the food, they drug the food, then they poison the mind with the television, then they, they you know it's, it's 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 they attack the subconscious as well to do these things. All right, so it says uh. Oh, that's 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 the so-called white man. That's going into the word uh, we looked up uh, profane. 
in the um see that's what the so-called white man do he violates all right uh profane now let's look it up in uh i'm sorry let's look it up in uh the google definition profane relating or devoted to that which is not sacred so you're not if something's sacred that means it's special basically so you're not special or biblical you're not biblical it says secular rather than religious yeah you're of the world all right the so-called white man is totally of the world because it's his world the the earth was given to the hand of the wicked it says let me let me uh select here let me find the scripture it says uh this is psalm 17 and 13 it says arise O yahweh disappoint him cast him down deliver my soul from the wicked which is thy sword so the wicked david asking the lord to deliver him from the wicked we was read who the wicked is the so-called white man it said which is thy sword so the lord is still in control even though the, the white man evil is all hell okay he still obeyed the will of the lord he's the lord's sword verse 14 from men which are which are thy hand O Yahweh, from men of the world which have their portion in this life and whose belly thou fillest with thy hid treasure they are full of children and leave the rest of their substance to their babes now that's the so-called white man because that's the only thing they have to look forward to is this life all right uh, uh building up their their success in this life so they can leave it to their children because they don't have no promise of heaven okay the lord never told them this here this is deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6 for thou art in holy people all right this we read the wicked are estranged from the rule the word estranged mean profane not holy all right for thou art in holy people unto yahweh thy power Yahweh, thy power have chosen thee to be a special people. The word special basically is, is, is like a synonym for sacred. All right? The so-called white man is not sacred, not special, and none of the heathen nations either. All right? To be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. All right? So that don't apply to you, Esau, Edom. Now, jumping back, uh, since the wicked are estranged from the womb, Psalm 58 and 3, they go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies. All right, so, hey, hey they born that way. Born, They was born guilty. <laughs> they're poison and they're born evil. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the death adder that stoppeth her ear, which will not hearken to the voice of charmers, charming never so wisely, because the so-called white man is a proud fool. All right? You, you, anybody coming across this video that's a so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, you know it. You work with them. They're your bosses, you know. They just a fool. You can tell them anything, no matter how, how cunningly you tell them, how wisely, no matter how much sense you make. If, 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 his, if his proud ass didn't come up with it, then he's not going to deal with it. He'll run it into the ground, all right? Verse 6, break their teeth, O Most High, in their mouth. Break out the great teeth of the young lions, O Lord. Let them melt away as waters which run continually. When he bendeth his bow to shoot his arrows, let them be as cut in pieces. Yeah, because it, uh, the, the scriptures speaks about the Lord having bows of arrows. Because those missiles, those missiles, those that, that nuclear uh, weapon technology, that's the Lord technology, all right? When you read Isaiah, he said, matter of fact, I'll get that. What is that? Uh, Salakia. This is uh, Isaiah 54 and 16. Behold, I have created the smith. All right, what's the smith? Karash, a craftsman, all right? Like, basically, think like a blacksmith, right? It says, what? That blow of the coals, what? He dealing with fire, all right? Okay? Which blow of the coals in the fire, and that bring forth an instrument for his work, and I have created the waster to destroy. That's talking about the nuclear missile, because those nuclear missiles 
destroy are the large still they waste okay let me see what they got for waste to destroy corrupt go to ruin decay uh like nagasaki and hiroshima that was ruined decayed corrupted and destroyed from the nuclear missile technology all right and even um the guy that uh created the uh the nuclear missile capability i forgot his name we can look him up real quick he said i have become the destroyer of worlds all right let me look that up real quick see there it go right there they made it into a song j robert oppenheimer i am become the destroyer of worlds all right and that's what uh that's what the lord gonna do that's what king david asked in this song for the for the for the world for the so-called white man's world to be destroyed all right as a snail which melted let every one of them pass away like the untimely birth of a woman that they may not see the sun before your pots can fill the thorns he shall take them away as with the whirlwind both living and in his wrath now let's go to the, the commentary for um the pots and the thorn all right let me see go to the uh psalm 58 and 1. i was just uh see i was just looking at this to get some more understanding on it uh let me see is this one it all right this is psalm 58 and 9. it says before your pots can feel the thorns all right, so this is the commentary on it. It says, so sudden is the overthrow of the wicked, so great a failure is their life that they never see joy. Their pot is put upon the hook to prepare a feast of joy, and their fuel is placed beneath. But before the thorns are lit, before any heat can be brought to bear upon the pot, yeah, even as soon as the fuel has touched the cooking vessel, a storm comes and sweeps all away. The pot is overturned, the fuel is scattered far and wide. Perhaps the figure may suppose the thorns, which are the fuel, to be kindled, and then the flame is so rapid that before any heat can be produced, the fire is out, the meat remains raw. Right, so when you read that, when you read that scripture, uh, Psalm 58 9, it says, Before your pots can fill the thorns, he shall take them away as with the whirlwind, both living and in, fi and in his fire. So basically, you got a campfire outside, right? You got the you got the you know the little sticks the twigs the the the, the branches the, the the bramble whatever you got the fire ablaze before you can put your pot on the fire to even get your even get your food start cooking before the pot even even think about getting hot it's, it says what he shall take them away as with the whirlwind both living and in his wrath so you're not even going and that goes into this scripture this is a uh, Psalm 21 and 8. It says, Thine hand shall find all out all thine enemies. Thy right hand shall find out those that hate thee. Thou shalt make them as a fiery oven. How can, how can you do that? On a, on a large scale. Because the Lord has, the whole world is enemies of the Lord. Except the elect. Alright? With that being said, how can you do that on a large scale? The, those nuclear missiles are part of it. Because it's in the scriptures. It says, Thou shalt make them as a fiery oven in the time of thine anger. Yahweh shall swallow them up in his wrath, and the fire shall devour them. Their fruit shall thou destroy from the earth. What the fruit? Fruit, the produce, fruit, offspring, children. So the so-called white man will no longer exist. It says going there are it said their fruit, okay, progeny of the womb. Anyway. Their fruit shall thou destroy from the earth, and their seed from among the children of men. Verse 11, for they intended evil against thee. They imagined a mischievous device, which they are not able to perform. Okay? See, they not able to perform it. So, so the minute that they even try to attempt it, like we read in Psalm 58 and 9, before they pot can get on the thorns, all right, the Lord gonna come like a whirlwind. Okay, let me see. Salakia, I'm gonna go back. All right, so boom, 
of Psalm 58 and 10. The righteous shall rejoice. Matter of fact, I'm going to read that. Six, uh, Psalm 64 and 7. But the Most High shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded. Because the Lord is going gonna, gonna to happen all of a sudden. It's going to be at least expected. Like Yahweh Shai said, I come as a thief in the night. All right? So back to uh, Psalm 58 and 10. It says, The righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked. See? So that a man shall say, Verily, there is a reward for the righteous. Verily, he is a power that judgeth in the earth. Because the Lord not going to all this righteousness endure forever. So you, you can never be wrong and doing righteous all right so this is like this is the reward like you know you got to just wait patiently suffer all right watch watch the watch the enemy rule and watch the enemy uh uh, uh be exalted for a time being for a time being and then when the lord rise up verse verse 10 again the righteous shall rejoice when he said the vengeance all right so when the lord uh decide to um uh, take vengeance. That's why the scripture says, uh, wait upon me. So like, I will repay. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. Yeah, so we don't go seeking our own vengeance. It says, for it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, said the Lord. So the Lord going the Lord gonna, to the Lord gonna do it, all right? Verse 11. So that a man shall say, verily there is reward for the righteous. Verily he is a God, he is a power. Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson to the hopeful elect. Shalom.